I'm Josie Lanzi. Welcome to Off the Hook, On the Play. Today, it's all about bringing home the best fish that we can catch. And then hopefully we'll get to do that. But of course, it's going to be a lot of fun just fishing and see what we pull up as our fresh catch of the day. So let's get fishing so we can get cooking. From the house actually it's a little rougher than what they call there we're looking at four or five feet not one to two so we'll try it out here and see if we can catch anything uh, I doubt that we head any further unless it decides to calm down then maybe we'll head out but let's see what's out here well I set down some squid and right off the bat we got a uh, nice little grunt here but it's a little small so I'm gonna send that one back so we got fish at least now we also got little reds out here, so we got red grouper, gag grouper, we caught one of those, we got a few grunts in the cooler. I guess it's turning out not to be such a bad day. We're going to let this one go, it's way small. A shortage of grunts, here's another one. It's going in the cooler, that one, it's a pretty one, yeah. Nice day. That's a nice size grunt, Brian, huh? Check it out. Let me see. Oh yeah, keep that one, that's a fat one. Come on, look at that, that's like a baby snapper. Nice. Well, the bite died down. Brent's pulling up the anchor. We're going to head back east and uh, head back towards the house. We got a cooler just about full. So we'll see you when we get back in. All right, today we're going to make a nice fish chowder using some fish broth that we've made from trimmings from previous fishing trips. I have here three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil in a large pot and one tablespoon of butter. We're going to add to this uh, one part carrots, one part celery and one part onion, finely chopped. We're also going to add two cups of finely chopped potatoes, skin and all. Okay, stir and you want to cook this for approximately six to seven minutes until the potatoes start to just become a little tender, but you don't want them cooked thoroughly yet. You want to make sure you season it with a little salt and cracked black pepper. All right, the vegetables have been cooking for uh, eight minutes now and they're starting to get pretty tender and that's about the time we want to Add the rest of our ingredients. I'm going to do some fresh chopped parsley, a teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning, and for our fish today I'm using white grunt. I have one pound of one inch cubed white grunts, six an ounce can of chopped clams. Next I'm going to add six cups of fish broth. All right, you want to go ahead and stir this. I brought up the heat to a medium high and we're going to want to simmer this an additional 10 minutes just until the fish has cooked through. And then we're only going to have one more ingredient to add. All right, and our final ingredient, the fish is fully cooked through. Look at this beautiful soup. Now it's time to thicken it and give it some richness to make it a chowder. One cup a heavy whipping cream, my friends. Okay, I'm going to let this summer another three to four minutes just so it's completely heated through now that we've added this cream. Because I like my chowders and cream soup extra thick, I am going to add one tablespoon of thickener. It's Velveteen Instant Thickener. It does not create any lumps, so you can put this at the end. You just want to sprinkle it on top and stir it in. Look at this beautiful fish chowder guys. Yet another off the hook recipe. And like I always say, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment. I'll be super happy to answer them, whether it's rigging your rig <laughs> or needing another recipe, or perhaps you missed something in my instruction and you just want me to clarify. There's no problem. I'll be right there with you guys. I had a super good time today and I can't wait until next week. So I'll see you right back here for another off the hook, on the plate recipe. Bye.